Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin, and I post weekly vlogs every single Wednesday, and if you're not new here, then you probably already know that, and you're probably wondering, what the heck is this vlog gonna be? I recently got back from Bali from my yoga teacher training. I actually returned exactly a week ago today, which means that I've also been in quarantine for exactly a week today, um, being that I was traveling internationally, and this week kind of threw me for a bit of a surprise. Like, I feel like this vlog kind of turned into something totally new. I guess I'll give you a bit of a backstory as to how, but if you want to skip forward to the therapeutic cleaning, down below I've been putting vlog chapters on every single vlog, so just check that out down below and you can click to wherever you would like to go within the video based on what each of the chapters are. So if you do want to skip to the cleaning, feel free to go ahead and do that. If you guys want more of the vlog content, then stick around for a sec. So every time I travel, I feel like I come home and I feel different and that's totally normal. Anytime any of us travel, what you're really doing is you're taking your brain, you're taking your body, you're taking your senses completely out of your routine and adopting them to totally new things, which means new thoughts are going to come through, new experiences are going to come through, new revelations might come through, and all of those things definitely happened to me while I was away. This is probably one of the more challenging but also cracking me open trips that I've been on in a very long time, and obviously it was cut short with the coronavirus, but yeah, I felt like I was still kind of growing and I was a little apprehensive to come home because I was worried that if I did, that all of the things that I was learning and kind of growing growing and nourishing while I was away would fall away coming home as I re-adopted my old routines and re-adopted my old environment. After returning home, aside from the elated happiness I felt picking up Bentley, difficult to kind of get back into my routines and get back into my life in a sense or what my life was before. So I found myself in tears Every day was filled with fear When you feel you wanted more than suddenly you're on Today's morning smoothie is supposed to be like a chocolate peanut butter raspberry type of deal. Oh, are you a little hot I'm sitting in the sun? As it is, we couldn't wait for the first kiss. Here comes the complications. I've been filming a bunch of coffee talks in my room with my ring light, so decided I might as well just go ahead and use it while I vlog. A little update on just like how things have been since I've been back. Honestly, I feel, I mean, isolation and all of that aside, I, I've been trying to like work a lot and catch up on a lot of the things I fell behind on. I've been like talking a lot, like obviously through my phone with people, but damn, I'm like day three into isolation and I just like wanna be around people so badly <laughs> that my body is probably just adjusting again to a new time zone and all of that. But I feel a little weird today. I feel a little off the same kind of weirdness that I felt before going to Bali. I love my house so much, but yeah, I don't know. 
working on coffee talks, updating emails, just catching up on a whole whack of stuff that I fell behind on while I was away. It's so hard to know when to turn off and turn on when you're at home all the time. I feel like I just kind of entered a work wormhole when I got back. The mood is I'm going to light up a bunch of candles. I'm already in a pretty comfy outfit, um, I even socks included. Pull out my oracle deck cards, pull out my journal, and just recalibrate. Is that a word? Recenter? I don't know, all of that good stuff. So I took the weekend off and I challenged myself to not touch work. That was what my body was really calling for, was some rest. And so I forced myself to rest and catch up on sleep. I watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy and I journaled a lot. Isolation, it really puts you face to face with your habits and your routines and ultimately with yourself. I decided that first things first, I needed to clean. Starting with the fact that when the calendar struck spring, I had really let things pile up, both physically and spiritually, and that brought a lot up to the surface. I needed to feel a sense of renewal in my space, in my environment. I decided to put on my favorite acoustic tunes and light up some candles and just clean, and spring clean like I've never cleaned before. <laughs> that I noticed and the main things that I found was making me feel a little bit anxious coming home and what I loved so much about being away and traveling in general was just how free I felt and coming home and feeling like I looked around me and realized how much excess I had really accumulated over the last few years. For myself, something that I'm realizing is we live in a time where excess is so accessible and it's kind of scary when you don't realize how much you get used to living with things so easily accessible to you and things that you technically don't need but you think you want. And that was the biggest revelation that I felt I was having was I looked around me and I wondered, okay, does this bring value into my life? What helps me rather than inhibits me? Is my lifestyle and the choices that I'm making aligned with who I am and what I know to be true about the world and about myself. and think and clean and then think some more and clean. And once everything was back in its place, I started to feel like I had this clean slate to look at. Is there a place with sun all year round and pina coladas with pretty faces and sand on the ground? Stop this ongoing train Before I lose my mind and go insane I don't want to sleep every night I want a light of spark in the dark I don't want to say I'm okay Living the same every day Come run beside me, let's take off 
Let's leave this place. If you looked at your life almost like a bulletin board in front of you, when you look around you and everything's back in its spot and everything's where it's meant to be, it's from there that you can start working through everything and shed away a lot of the layers that we no longer need. withdraw back to the things that are most important to you or withdraw back to the simple pleasures of life how much excess we've all been living in when I think of spring I think of rebirth and renewal and I think of us coming out of our hibernation as much as we are in <laughs> quarantine and isolation it's almost like you're waking up without going outside just yet you're waking up just before the dawn and you're able to have that moment of stillness to look around and really ask yourself what is important to you and really ask yourself like what do you want for yourself like are your choices aligning with your truth are you living in your light when we get so distracted and we layer all this excess on top of ourselves it gets really hard to see our truth versus our distractions spring cleaning can really start with the mind because when we go into anything being mindful when we clean when we cook when we eat when we show up to any task in our lives including the ones that require us to be at home is this bringing me value is this helping me or inhibiting me is this part of my truth? And if not, then why am I doing it? Going into spring, I feel like these are the types of questions that are helping me break free from a lot of the weight that I think I've been carrying when I don't have to. The more that I let go of all of those excess layers, the lighter I'm feeling. And that sense of lightness comes from not only the shift in seasons and yes, more daylight throughout the day, a lightness in our feet and a lightness in our spirits and abundance within. So I know today's weekly vlog was a little different than usual, but I don't know. This weekend brought me a lot of calm and ease and even though the resting part was something that took me a little while to kind of ease my anxiety into, I definitely felt like it was like a physical therapy to just spring clean. And so I figured that I could try and find a way to communicate that feeling outwards and make a video that might make you feel a little bit of like that therapeutic calmness that comes from just watching somebody clean and hey maybe you're inspired now to do your own spring cleaning aside from that i hope you guys are all staying safe and light like i said last week as responsible as we need to but as lighthearted as we can and now that my house is clean you guys can expect a updated house tour very very soon aside from that in case i don't see you between now and then I'll see you guys all in either the next coffee talk, the next Coz video, in that house tour, or in week 14. Bye guys.